Can I survive in a haunted school until 3 a.m.? Just behind me, we're about to go in, basically, and I'm a little bit scared. It's really dark, it's really eerie, and the place is just massive. It's so pretty, though. Even the courtyard is really pretty. Oh, Come on, let's go. Wow. Oh, I know none of it. Except for, you know, from the games that I played. <laughs> I love this. It's just so many old books. Ah, now this was one of my most favorite places, the library. Just the smell when you walked in and just exploring it was just really interesting. See, I purposely didn't research this place before we came. But I kind of want to now. I want to go away and then research it all. Yeah. So there's an EMF reader over here. So she's just put one down over here just in case anything happens. As you can see, there's green light on it. I love this, this is so cool. Really nice. Oh, that was my I was about to say, I was making funny noises. <laughs> oh, oh, it's Christmas. It's all right. Do a little jump to dance while we're at it. No one should give us these things. <laughs> no, no, no one should give us these toys. So which one's this one? So this is a REM pod, so if anyone goes... Let it just settle. This is where it just doesn't now. Yeah, it probably won't. <laughs> there you go. Mm. So if anyone goes... Oh. So... That's so cool. So if anyone goes near that little antenna, then we would know about it, it'll go on. I had, a put that one. I had a radio that were like that. You just walked anywhere near it and go. I'm not sure that was paranormal. No, I don't think so. Maybe, maybe. oh my god. Yes. Oh, look, does that mean it like for laughing, do you think? Let it settle. Like a joke. Is there spirit in this room with us? If there is, can you go near that thing with the light, the red light in the middle? It's just gone off. I think we upset it. Nobody ever likes my jokes. Mm. Nobody does like your jokes, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I liked it. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, because oh, oh, we're moving though. No, I have to put my no, quite close to that. You've, right. you've got to be really close. So it's just going off. It's just going off. Can you stop? Thank you. Thank you. Can you do that again, please? If there's someone. Dorothy, are you Did you hear this? that? Yeah. Behind yeah. here. Yeah. I heard that. If there's a spirit here and that was you making that tap, can you just knock again for us? Yeah, wow. it doesn't sound like that far. But that was definitely um, mm. went off, didn't it? So oh, yeah. Yeah, no, you have to get quite close to that. Um, well, so we're about to go and do a Ouija board, which I'm a bit terrified about. But look at this. You need to look at this. There's the chainsaw. But yeah, we're just going to go, like I said, do the Ouija board now. And I've never done one, and I've been kind of warned not to. So why are we doing it? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> So Hollywood will tell you Ouija boards open up portals, summoning demons and do all the focus. All what it is, is an implemental tool for a spirit that's already in the environment to communicate with us, to spell things to us, okay? So this is what we call a planchette. So, or if you can't remember the name, let's call it a triangle. It's up to you, okay? <laughs> so what we're doing, we're putting the planchette upon the table here and we're just placing our fingers very gently onto the planchette, okay? We call spirit through and Hopefully, if it's going to work, it will start moving across the board and we're going to be looking through the window to see what it's spelling. So we're not 
using the pointer, okay? okay. It's the window. That's it. So when you're feeling nice and warm, you're placing the thing. So you're not pushing down, you're not dragging on it, you're not resting your elbows. You're literally just on there, okay? I really wasn't sure what to expect using a Ouija board. This was my first ever time and probably the worst time to try it for the first time with a bunch of strangers. I didn't know anybody in this room prior to the night and it's just one of those things where I want to keep an open mind but you never know if anyone's pushing it. <laughs> of course I'm not saying that anyone did but it's always gonna be one of those things that you just never quite know. It's actually very easy to move, it's very light, it glides across the board and I tried several times to sort of like make sure that you guys knew that I wasn't pushing it at all. I was very very light on my finger and actually so much so that when it started moving it was moving without me <laughs> and my finger moved. This is why I wasn't super surprised that it moved. I would have equally been as happy coming to this event and nothing happening because you just never know. But for the most part, I kept an open mind. I did talk here and there. I did try and talk to spirits that might have been there. Although I must admit, the spirit from the Ouija board was quite dark. The host was amazing though the whole time that we were going through all of this. He was encouraging and just really funny. And they definitely got us all involved with the atmosphere and what was actually happening. 10 out of 10, just saying. Are you still happy to be here, CJ? Are you happy where you are? Mm. Don't want to say hello. Oh. He wants to say goodbye. Yeah, he's yeah. not, is he? Yeah. Do you want to go now, CJ? Okay. After the craziness of the Ouija board, we decided to go to the gym. Or more like we were told. But that's not the point. We went to the gym. I'd been standing still for about half an hour with the Ouija board, so I decided to do a fun little dance down the hallway because there's nothing more fun than doing a weird dance in the middle of the night in a creepy haunted school. Oh, I love this though, when you see all the brickwork and everything. Yeah, it is beautiful though, the building. It is, yeah. I mean, I've got like four C's, but I bet the other one. Everything looks the same as well. While everybody else decided that they were going to table tip, yes, that is the correct Thing that they're doing is called table tipping but while they were doing that we were asked to do our own investigations we were asked to do our own ghost hunt which was a bit terrifying because we would be on our own in the dark but i'm brave sometimes not all the time probably never i don't know why i have <laughs> scary videos on my channel it doesn't matter we're doing it okay so they're still carrying on with is it called table tipping? I think they were tipping a table. They were so tipping I a table. So. I can't remember what it's called exactly, but that's what they're currently doing in there. As we're not doing that right now, they've left us alone with some equipment. <laughs> because, you know. <laughs> big mistake. Yeah, probably a big mistake. You know, we might lose it, whatever. Anyway, so we're just going to set up these. Uh, so, we've got these, which obviously we've showed you before. So, we're going to pop them around the room and then we've got two EMF readers as well. So we'll have like a little walk about and just sort of, I guess, see if there's anything in here. But yeah, it's just sort of looking a bit. It's really, it's really, really dark. Okay, I'll leave it here. Oh gosh. Hmm? Okay, that one's there. And then, I'm going to take one of these and just sort of like have a little wonder. In theory, even if well, that shouldn't be going off already. Oh, that's weird. That did stop, right? And then I put it down and... I think so, yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's just... No, I'll just sort of stick over here then and just see if anything's around. 
going back through the footage again, there's still a noise in this that I have no idea what it is or what caused it because it was not something we heard when we were there. We didn't even acknowledge the noise while we were there and you'll be able to hear it. Maybe it's someone outside. Maybe there is somebody a bit closer to us than we thought. I no idea, but I'm keeping an open mind. So, so far there's not really anything in this room, so for me I wouldn't say personally that there was anything. It's been a very interesting kind of experience tonight. I've never done anything like this before and I'm not one of those people that's cynical or anything like that. Um, I like to keep an open mind, but I wouldn't say this has convinced me, but I really do enjoy sort of stuff like this and exploring. I don't know, I do need to hear your opinions though, because I don't know, it'd just be interesting to see what you guys think of so far and things. Well, the second time's just gone off. So we're saying, we're saying the whole thing of like they've not gone off, but that is, uh, I've just turned it off as well, let's just make sure. That genuinely wasn't me that time either. No, 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 it's not. I just want to make sure it's not. Do you want to call out to him? Oh! I didn't touch that or anything. So unless... It's not like we were standing here. <laughs> oh! Okay. Is that a yes? Is that... You're having a lot of fun with this, aren't you? I'll just wait for it to stop and then I'll, I'll ask you a question. Oh my goodness, what is happening? Oh, it's just going to keep going off now, isn't it? Can you move the ball? No. No, I think it's just going to keep, uh, keep flashing at us. Okay then. Oh my goodness, it's just going to keep going. I think it's stopped now. Oh, no, it's not. What is happening with this? This is kind of freaky. Not touching it, not doing anything, it weren't moving. And it's just like, still going. For a minute. Oh, whoa. What's up? That literally just went there to the middle one. That literally just went. I've not, I've not seen that. Okay, what is happening? You move though. Okay, that's a little bit weird. Okay, all right, okay. So you're liking the ball a lot. Are you able to make this reader, this one I'm holding right now, are you able to set this one off again? Because you're really liking the ball. I'm just wondering if you can do this as well, as you've said it off a few times. Now you're still doing the ball. That's really weird. We're not even moving or anything. I can't tell. I don't know what to do with it. I don't know whether to move it or not. I kind of don't want to move it. And... That's weird though, that, you didn't get that on camera, did you? It literally just moved to the, the third one along. Which is really mm. creepy. Were you pointing it at the ball? Yeah. Weird, isn't it? The ball's still going crazy. The ball is just having a field day right now. Oh! Oh! Okay, you just missed out twice. Oh, okay, okay, everything's going off. That literally just flashed up onto that one twice. My thoughts at this moment are, if anybody needs a new camera person, my boyfriend is up for the job. He will miss all of the action, all the good shots. So if you're looking for that kind of thing, he is available. <laughs> Cause I couldn't believe it went off three times and he missed all three. <laughs> Better leave it here. Cause I think we'll go back to the group, but that's so weird. We were just literally packing. Oh, my goodness. Okay, well. We were just like kind of packing up to leave, kind of thing. That is really weird. 
I don't know, I haven't had much experience with stuff like this, so I don't know like how sensitive they are, whether oh, okay then. At the end of the day, I don't know how sensitive any of the equipment that we were using actually was. Or whether any of them malfunctioned or anything really. This was all very new to me. So if you guys actually know what you're doing, let me know in the comments and maybe if we do another one, uh, you can teach me how to do all this. But it was time to get a little bit creepy, so it was time to leave. Okay, well, we're gonna say goodbye to the haunted school because it's a little bit creepy at night. It is eerie, it is quiet, uh, and I'm officially creeped out. But it's beautiful. Just like seeing it from this angle on the outside is beautiful. But anyway, guys, I hope you had fun and I will see you soon. Oh, and check out this video. Bye-bye.